Welcome, I'm Cohen Springer and I'm about to help you take over the world by teaching you matrix multiplication. So let's get right into it. Matrix multiplication is multiplying another matrix by another matrix. There's an example there. At the end of this, you'd be you'd know how to do that example. So let's do a little quick recap. Matrix. A matrix is a rectangle. This is the definition. This is the definition of a matrix. Rectangular arrangement of rows and columns. Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. And you should know also the size is equal to the row by the column. Um, for example, if we name this matrix after, let's say A, we can name a matrix after a capital letter, um, assign a letter to it. So that's, um, we can tell the size of this matrix, there are one, two, three rows, and there are two columns. So if I'm going to call this A, the size of A is three by two. Write the rows first. Write the rows first, people. Write the rows first. All right, so matrix multiplication. Definition multiplying a matrix by another matrix simple like that and scalar multiplication not to be confused with scalar multiplication scalar multiplication Is where you multiply a matrix by a constant a number like on the outside and we did that in the previous video You can take a peek back at that um, Let's go forward So this is all about matrix multiplication in matrix multiplication best seen by example we multiply the row of the first matrix by the column of the second matrix. That's how we operate. Row by column. Row by column. Row by column. Right. So row by by column. So um, and you should also note it kind of slides. It slides a bit. So what is happening here? I'm going to multiply this three by this two, and that'll go there. Then what's next? I'm going to multiply the 4 by the 1. 4 by the 1. And where is that going to go? That's going to go here. So you may not catch this on the first go. But keep watching through the video and you'll become a boss at the end. Right? So 4 by 1. Right? Um, and I went ahead and completed the, 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 the bottom 2. And... Negative 1 is being multiplied by 2. Lots of lines here now, man. Negative 1 is being multiplied by this 2. And 0 is being multiplied by that 1. And negative 1 by 2 goes here. And 0 by 1 goes there. And then 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 1 times 2, negative 2. And 0 times 1 is 0. And you add that up. 6 plus 4 is 10. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. Simple as that. Let's look at another style of this. Now, now there are some things you should know that will guide you when you're doing matrix multiplication. First, you should know the size of the matrix that you're multiplying. So the first one was a 2 by 2, and the second one was a 2 by 1. So, matrix multiplication is only possible if these two numbers on the inside here these two numbers on the inside here, I'm underlining it again, are the same. So you see those numbers are the same. So if they are the same, so that, that, that is meaning the number of columns in the, sec in the first matrix, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for matrix multiplication to be possible. Right? And this is because we're multiplying row by column. And the final matrix, the answer is going to be the numbers on the outside now. 2 by 1, it's going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. All right, let's go. So this is the next style of multiplication here. We have a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2. So is this possible? That's what we need to ask ourselves. Is this possible? It's a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2. Since the numbers on the inside are the same, it is possible, right? Those two numbers are the same, and also the numbers I underline is going to tell me the answer I am going to get, right? So it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So this one is straightforward. Now, the multiplication part can get a little ticklish. It's going to be row by column. Now, in this matrix, we're going to get four separate elements. It's going to, it's going to get something here, something here, something here, and something here, because it's a 2 by 2 matrix, right? So let's go forward and see what happens. 
Um, first up, 0 is being multiplied by negative 1, and that goes here. That gives us 0. Then in negative 2 is being multiplied by 0, and that gives us 0 as well, and that goes there. Now you'd notice that if I want to get the, what goes here, I'll have to multiply the first row by the first column because this element here is in the first row and the first column. So I multiply the first row by the first column to get that answer. If I want to get what goes here, I, this is in the first column, but it's in the second row. So it's second row, second row by the first column to get what goes here. If I want to get what goes here, this is the first row by the second column, and I'll get what goes there. So let's go forward and see if we can catch the hang of that. So negative 5 plus 0, how did we get that? Because we multiplied 5 by negative 1, boom, and 1 by 0, boom. And this was the second row, first column. And you notice how it slides along? Um, I want to get what goes here. So it's going to be first row by second column. And sure enough, 0 by 4 is 0. Negative 2 by 3 is negative 6. Simple. So now you can do this one for yourself. And you can just verify that you get this. 5 by 4 is 20. 1 by 3 is 3. And when you reach like that, you add it up. Now, that blue line is not necessary. I just put that there so you can, in the early, so you can separate what, what goes where, what goes where, because that just, that, that just ties people up. All right, so, and 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 5 plus 0 is negative 5. 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. And 20 plus 3 is 23. So you use your calculator, right? Or... Adna. So, right, cool. Um, let's try our next style. 2 by 1 by 2 by 2. Now, we have a problem here. Can you tell what the problem is? The ones in the center. These two needs, needs to be, must have to be the same for you to actually begin to start multiplying. Those two numbers need to be the same. They are not the same. So it's invalid. Sizes are incompatible, right? You can't multiply it. So you'll pretty much get stuff like that. And so once again, the first matrix, second matrix, row by column, row by column, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for matrix multiplication. Mark that down in your brain somewhere or on your wall in your bedroom or some kind of thing, right? Keep that in your mind. So here we reach exam style question. They name some matrices here, and they're going to ask us to multiply them, I guess. Find the value of AB and AC, if possible. Okay. AB is, and we set it out like that. Um, what is happening here? What is happening here? Right. So I'm listing this, the, the, the size of the matrix. Before I continue, just to verify that they can actually multiply. I am seeing that the two are the same on the inside, so yes, they can multiply. Also note that this is going to tell me the type of matrix I'm going to get. I'm going to get a two-by-one matrix, right? So, moving along, I'm going to do row by column. Seven by three is 21. Negative 2 by 4 is negative 8, right? And then 0 by 3 is 0 plus 1 by 4. It's 4. Simple as that. Add up this, add it up. 21 plus negative 8 is 13 and 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4, bread. Now, how does it have a 70? Zero plus four is four. Learn that. Next up, AC. First thing we need to check and see if this is actually possible, and I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Two by two, one by one, 
these two numbers not the same so guess what it's not possible right not possible and move on with your life right final thing we nearly done last slide the identity matrix is um, something you need to know about you hear people talk about the identity matrix let me just introduce this concept to you quickly three by one is three we're going somewhere with this four by one is four you know what one is one is called the multiplicative identity any number you multiply by one you're going to get back the number that's what happening there 10 plus 0 is 10 negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6 why 0 is the additive identity any number you add with 0 you add 0 to any number you're going to get all right yeah so any number you add to 0 you're going to get back the number now what happened yeah so any number you add to 0 you're going to get back the number so I was editing this video and I realized the video stopped there for some reason. So now I have to pick up my iPad and come and just complete it. Right, so I'm going somewhere with this. I was going somewhere with this. This guy here is the identity matrix. 1001. Zero, zero, one. And following the order of thinking, if I try to multiply any matrix by that identity matrix, any matrix. I'm trying to multiply by that by resting the two of them next to each other. There it means multiply. So this multiply by that. I am going to get back the original matrix and that's what the identity matrix does. And that's an important concept for when we are using the inverse to solve simultaneous equations and stuff like that. In the corner here we have another identity matrix. That's a three by th that's for a three by three system. And we will just ignore that. We we ignore that. Right. You don't need that fear of feel of study. Um, so so um, so press like, subscribe, share, share the knowledge, go and teach somebody, go and do some revision and study and things like that. Thanks for watching.